Alright, I'm going to show you some cool tools in Photoshop. So find a photo that you like and you want to edit a little bit. Right click it, do open with Photoshop. Just like that. Now, let me show you some cool stuff. Look at this photo. Let's say, I don't want this student to be right here. I want to get rid of him. There's a cool way you can do this. It's called the clone tool. So if you come all the way to the left over here and look at this, it looks like a little stamp. If you don't, you, you have to click on it once and then you'll see you have a little circle here. If you come all the way to the top left, see where my cursor is? This is how you can change the size of that circle. See how I made it bigger? I can make it smaller, just like that. So let's make it, you want to make it about a little bit bigger than what you're going, because you're going to be painting it. So that's about pretty good, because we want to be very careful when we paint it. So what, we, what the clone tool does is by hitting the option button on your keyboard, see how I'm hitting the option button and it turns into this little pointer looking thing? If I hold down Option and then I click on my mouse once, what it does is it's, it copies whatever I was just clicked on. So sit, take a look. See? See how you see the pavement? See how it copied it? If I do the same thing, if I hold down Option and click on this bag, it's going to it's gonna take that part of the bag. Okay? Now, so what we're going to do is we want to copy and paste. We want to copy some of the the ground and over and color over this this student. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Option, I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to come over. Now do you see that little cross? That means wherever that cross goes is what I'm painting. See how it kind of moves with me? It's kind of cool because it helps you out a lot. Now look, I'm going to go just like this, like this. Sometimes what you have to do is unclick, hit Option again, and then click somewhere else again, and then move over, and I'm going to paint some of that part. Now this is where it gets interesting. See this line? You want this line to look like it's going straight across. Because look, if I just come here and just keep doing pavement, it is going to look a little strange because there's supposed to be a white line there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hold down Option and I'm going to actually just take the line from over here. See how I have the line? Move it. And then I'm going to just try to paint it nice and perfectly just like that until they connect. See how I did that? So let's do the same thing. Now, this is where you might want to change the size. I might want to get it just a little bit smaller. Sometimes this takes a lot of work. You can come over here and hit this magnifying glass and zoom in a little bit. That sometimes helps. See how I'm zooming in? Let's go back to the clone tool. And I'm actually going to go a little bit smaller than that. And let's try. I'm going to hit Option, click here, and I'm going to just start painting. See how I'm doing that? Now, I can come back and do the white lines. Let's just keep getting all him. Like this, let's get this all done. See how I'm just, I'm grabbing some of this. Sometimes I have to keep hitting option and click to kind of get the little spots that I want, okay? So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go like this first and then I'll come back and finish with the line. See, see how I'm doing that? Same thing, I'm gonna grab some of this. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. So you just keep on going with it. Oops, hit command Z if you mess up, remember, command Z. Now let's grab this white line right here and let's see how much we can get. Let's just go a little bit, and then I'm going to adjust and come back up again. Actually, I'm going to come from the bottom up this time. Go like this. A little bit more, just like that. A little bit more. Let's grab some more of it. It's a little tricky, but after you, if you keep trying and take your time, you can master this. So keep on going. And then you have some shadows. This is where it might get a little tricky, and you might have to do a few little things, but let's just keep playing with it. And remember, you don't have to make it look perfect, because usually when you do this stuff, no one really notices exactly what you're doing. So we kind of want to match this black bag a little bit. See, now this is where it gets a little tricky, because there's some stuff in the background, so you might have to spend a little bit more time. I'm just doing it really quick for you guys, so you can get an idea of how to do it. But it's starting to look a little better. We want to do this line, too, remember? So I'm going to come down here and continue with the line. I'm going to grab a little bit of the line there, and then continue up little bit like that. And let's fix this up because you still see some of him. And you just make it like the bag looks a little weird, but there's a ways we can adjust it in a second just so you can hardly tell. So let's do a little bit more like that. Doesn't look great, but I'm not spending too much time today because this is just a quick tutorial. But see how I can do that? I can get a little bit more of this out of the way. Maybe if I go a little bit smaller. And then that's it. Pretty much, that's pretty close. Another cool tool to help correct some of this stuff is if you come over here and you see, where is it? Do, 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 do. Not the blur, where are you? 
Oh, right here. This is the burn tool. You see, it looks like a hand cup. Oh, I have it far too big. Come up here and change my size, okay? That's the burn tool. And what the burn tool does, if you come up here, you can see shadows, mild tones, and highlights. What it does, it will increase the shadows and make it darker. See how that just made it darker? So sometimes that's a little bit better. Watch. See, if I want to increase my shadows around my thing, that's how I do it. So watch. Let me zoom out. Click zoom. Come up to the top left and zoom out. The cool thing about the shadows, the burn with the shadows, I'm going to make it bigger now, is you can really start making those shadows pop a little bit more. See how I'm doing that and how it's starting to darken some of those shadows to make them pop? And if you come over and try mild tones, you can kind of darken up this too. See how it's kind of darkening it to give it a little bit more of an effect? So I do that a lot to some of my photos. I'll show you some examples in class, but see how if you do that, sometimes you get a little bit more of a cool effect. So play around with that. And if you want to lighten stuff, you go to the Dodge tool. See, it looks like a lollipop over here. And then let me just make it bigger and just show you how it works. If you use the Dodge tool and then change it to highlight, you're lightening the shadows, see? So if you want less shadows, you can lighten them. See, that's kind of getting rid of them. Okay, I can just undo all that. And same thing like over here. Let's say you kind of wanted to undo some of these shadows. You can kind of do that. And you can also use the Burn tool, actually, right there. Let's say you didn't like all those little stains on the ground. Let's grab that Burn tool or the the clone tool I mean let's make it a little bit bigger and let's just clone some of the sidewalk and just get rid of all that little mark see what I'm doing I can get rid of this entire pole if I wanted to let me try let me get rid of the flagpole watch doot, doot, doot. And grab over here maybe get this come over here I just want to totally get rid of it I'm doing this really quick guys if you really want to make your stuff look good you have to spend a little bit more time doing it I'm just doing it really quick just to show you how you can do this stuff the, the lines you kinda gotta mess with a little bit depending on the photo it could be easy or hard this one seems to be a little bit easy I'm gonna come right here go up here make sure uh, you wanna make sure you get everything so it doesn't look off but that's pretty much pretty close look I pretty much got rid of it by doing that pretty quickly. You might want to get rid of the shadow because it's no longer there. And there you go, now it's gone. Let's get rid of this backpack. Now I'm just having some fun. I can get rid of that backpack. Boom, it's gone. Let's get rid of this backpack. Ah, so this is kind of cool. Let's get rid of these little signs. What happens if I don't want those signs there? Let's just get rid of them. Whoop. Remember, I'm cloning things around me, so you have to use that option button. And then you kind of figure out what you want to cover, what you want to use to cover up that. Now it's gone, see? So that's kind of cool. That's a very fun tool that you can use to really change some of your photography. If you take a photo that has people in it, like at a beach, and you don't want them in it, that's how you do it. All right, good luck. Later.